special research robots are being used at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. These robots, built by a company in Boston, are surveying and measuring radiation in one of the reactors. We just heard a problem with conditions fogged up the cameras on the bots today, but their work is critical in determining if and when humans may be able to return to the damaged parts of that plant. Those robots were donated to Japan by iRobot. And joining me now from Boston is iRobot Chief Operating Officer Joseph Dyer. Uh, Joseph, glad you're with us. First, uh, tell me, are, are the problems that the robots experience today, are they serious? Well, you know, uh, Randy, we don't have any information as of today. Uh, we don't believe so, and we have a full set of spares and capability aboard to keep the robots working. They're very, very reliable systems, so we're confident they'll continue to perform. Tell us about the technology that's being used uh, and how these robots work. Well, the robots that uh, we have in Japan uh, are, uh, the, are very similar, in many cases the same, of over 4,000 robots that we have uh, in service with U.S. military, including day-to-day -day service in Afghanistan. Uh, we have underwater robots that were in service at the oil spill in the Gulf, and we have what we call our hazmat, or hazardous material robots, serving in Japan. And so these robots are able to move around on their own, obviously. They don't need to, they're not, they're not stationary. Um, how does it work? How do you control them? Well, the secret to robots is that they're fearless. Our robots put distance between people in danger. So they're teleoperated. You can think of it much like a, a computer game. A operator will be at a safe distance, uh, some hundred of meters or so away from, uh, from danger. The robots will have the ability to see, to hear, uh, to sense radiation, oxygen temperature. They have a manipulator, an arm, a whole series of multispectral cameras. So they are a virtual representation uh, of the scene. The first look we've gotten, by the way, this last Sunday, the first look inside of uh, the Fukushima plant comes via the iRobot packbots. And I know, you know, we've seen your Roomba vacuum uh, robot, of course. Uh, many people are familiar with those. Is that sort of the same science behind the, this PackBot concept? Well, you know, iRobot is a spin out of MIT. Uh, it's actually a 20 year old company. We laugh sometimes about it being the world's longest overnight success. But the autonomy, the uh, integration of uh, electromechanical capability is very similar, but very advanced in our military robots and very cost effective in our consumer robots that serve in the home. And you mentioned also that these were these have been used uh, for a while now in Afghanistan and Iraq. So these are these are the same robots that would what detect bombs and dispose of bombs. Well, that's exactly right. Many, uh, uh, probably most of the robots that you see dealing with the IED threat, same concept. The ability to send the robot forward to deal with an IED. If you remember the old way of doing business, you would put uh, bomb suits on EOD explosive operators and they would literally walk up to the bomb. Robots are a better way to do business. You know, what's amazing to me is that Japan is really a leader in the world of robots and robotics, but theirs are mostly used for their, their stationary robots and, and used in, uh, on assembly lines. So this is really something that they desperately need to get in there and figure out what's going on. Well, we were happy to have an opportunity to contribute. We were lucky to have folks at a trade show in Singapore uh, on the 11th of March uh, when the earthquake uh, followed by the tsunami hit. So we were able to very quickly dispatch both people and robots into theater. Well, we're glad you're there to help and uh, we're sure that uh, the, those robots will get on track and figure this whole thing out for everyone and try and help some folks. Uh, Joseph Dyer, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And for